Hello everyone, welcome back to Everything Swift. Today we'll be tackling legal question number 66, title plus one. We're given an array of integers here named digits and we're supposed to return an array of integer. And what we're supposed to do here is essentially adding one to this integer number here, right? So basically, I think this example one is pretty much uh, a good example essentially to what we are supposed to do today. So basically, it's just saying that in that array, which is 1, 2, and 3, uh, if we add 1, which is saying that uh, what happens when we add 1 to the number, the integer number 1, 2, 3, which is made up of these uh, numbers here. But it's just given to us in the form of an array rather than an integer, right? And we are supposed to return uh, an array instead of an integer. So that's why the answer here is 1 to 4 because 1 to 3 plus 1, well, it gives us 1 to 4. Uh, but we have to return this in an integer array, right? So pretty much that's it. That's what we're supposed to do today. Uh, there's several methods to do uh, to attempt to solve this question. Uh, I think one of the ways is basically, that I can think of is basically like uh, if we change this integer array into an integer, uh, whether it's flat map or compact map and just try and make this as an integer and then we add one and then convert it back to an array uh, that could also work uh, but obviously there's a lot of operations there uh, to well uh, convert an integer array to an integer then back to an integer array right so we want to try and solve this as uh, efficient as possible as always with all of these uh, algorithm data structure question so the strategy that I'm thinking of is basically we are, what we're going to do uh, for this question is, or at least how I attempt to solve it is uh, we'll look through the array but we'll look through from the back right we'll look through from the last digit and then we'll proceed to check uh, subsequent uh, values all the way to the zero uh, index of the number so uh, as we can see in this example here one two three if uh, the number is not nine essentially any number that's not nine we basically just need to add uh, to increase the last value right so if it's for example one two three that will give us one two four right if let's say if it's 87 for example it will give us 88 right the front number does not change so in this case only the last number got increment by one the front two number stays the same as one two uh, in this case it's also the same only seven changed to eight but the front number is still eight right so we can test this for any number, right? Like let's say 85 will give us 86. Uh, all of this is, is going to be returned as an array. Uh, but like, let's say any number like four, for example, single digit, it'll be well five, right? Um, so, but we have to take care of scenarios where it can be nine, right? So in the event when, imagine this array here, it's just giving us nine. Right. If we add one number here, basically we have to carry forward the number one to the next number to the left, right? Because nine plus one it gives us ten, right? So we have to take care of this scenario. We can't just uh, increment one, but then we have to remember to deal with this carry of uh, one over to the left, right? So in this in the same case for like nine nine for example, that will give us hundred or nine 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 nine. It will also uh, well increase it to 10,000 right or 100,000 right so basically essentially uh, any nine situation we have to handle the situation of carrying forward uh, that's that's something that we have to keep in mind uh, for example like let's say one more scenario one to nine you will become one three oh right we have to carry forward the one to the next so essentially that's it like just to summarize my thought in terms of strategy We'll look through from the uh, last digit uh, of the array and then we'll check whether it is 9 uh, or not 9 right because if it's not 9 then we'll just go ahead and increment that number by 1 and that's about it that's the solution right but if it's 9 then we basically have to convert the 9 to a 0 because 9 plus 1 will give us 10 but we'll carry forward 1 but the last digit is still 0 so we'll change the number 9 to 0 and then we'll carry 1 to uh to the next uh to the left side of the integer array right so that's the strategy for this whole question uh, i'll just code it out i think it'll be much simpler to understand 
but I generally just want to just explain my thought process or the strategy on how I solve the problem. So I'm just going to check. As always, just some fast optimization check. If the digits array is empty, well, basically there's nothing to be done, right? No operation here. And I'm just going to make a copy of this digits array because we're going to manipulate the, the values, right? Whether it's the last index or all of the number, we don't know. So I'm just going to make a copy here and set it to a variable. And as I mentioned, we're going to loop through from the last uh, index. So let's go ahead and do that. Digit in try from uh, updated dot count minus one minus one because of index issue. Uh, true all the way to index zero by negative one because we are going we are we are going from uh, the last one and. Uh, going through the uh, values by one index from this index to the next index to the next index uh, here right so that's what this whole stripe uh, uh, function does so over here what we're going to do is we're going to check if arbiter digit equals to 9 else right so if the digit is 9 uh, if it happened to be 9 we are going to update it to become zero right because nine plus one will give us ten so we set the the current position to zero but we'll handle the one operation the carrying forward of one to the left later on so in the event that the digit is not nine so we only need to increment the particular value by one right so in this case for example this particular example one here one two three so let's say we start from this index uh, the last index which is just three uh, the value 3 here we increment by 1 right so let's handle the situation here if the digit is not is not 9 so you're going to this else block so what we're going to do is just increment by 1 and that's about it right that's the whole solution for this example 1 scenario so we can go ahead and return it and just exit out from this whole uh, operation this whole function operation and now let's say in the event that the whole array is 9 for example right we have to carry forward the, the one right so we're gonna exit out from this for loop here and what we're gonna do here is updated insert one at zero right because we just changed the number to zero but this is the part where we handle the scenario of adding one uh, to, to the front of it right so in, imagine like your whole array is nine uh, nine for example we change the last value which is this index here to zero but then, then this whole for loop will exit because there's only one value. And then you'll hit this uh, line 16 here where we'll add 1 at index 0. So because our operation here set it to 0, so we'll be 0. But when it hit the line 16, you'll end up becoming 10. And that's about it, essentially. Uh, this should be the whole solution. Uh, let me just go ahead and run this. And hopefully I get it right there we go looks good let me just run through all the test cases and there we have it looks good all accepted uh, just gonna submit this hopefully we get it right there we go that is the solution here so uh, just quick recap right uh, basically we are looping through the entire array but from the back Right, we're going through from the last index all the way to the first or zero index and we're just checking whether the value is 9 if it's 9 we convert it to 0 but we'll handle the carrying of 1 uh, over here if however the number is not 9 we can just go ahead and increment the uh, updated digit by 1 and then just return and exit out from this uh, entire uh, function operation so pretty much that's it uh, I think this is quite an interesting problem although it's easy but uh, I was just cracking my head a little bit on like how should I go about uh, because I think this solution here will give us a time complexity of uh, big O of n because we are looking through every single value of the uh, array and the space complexity because we are doing a copy so it should also be a big O of n uh, yeah so since 
it's a linear operation so it should be decent enough I guess uh, if you guys know any solution better than this feel free to uh, leave it in the comment but as always thank you for watching please feel free to subscribe I'm trying to grow this channel and spread the good word so thank you very much for your time take care and bye bye